Action. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this morning we're going to be unboxing the uh, HP's new Office Jet 4620E all-in-one. Uh, its functions are uh, print, fax, scan, copy, and it's got wireless connectivity. It also has e-print and air print, mobile printing. Four individual ink cartridges. This replacement had a tricolor cartridge. That's nice. Uh, you can see that it's very sleek and small. It's got a built-in uh, 35 sheet document feeder. Uh, it has a two inch, they call it an illustrated display. It's not a touch screen. You have navigation keys here. And then here's your fax and your T9 uh, text entry keys. So let's get going on this. is a it, It's a replacement for the 4500, and that means it should retail for around $99.99. So you're getting a, a lot of stuff for 100 bucks. And then plus these individual cartridges usually means, and we're confident that the cost per page will be at least as low as anything in this price range. Uh, so we really can't think of any reason that um, uh, you know, you're paying $99 for something and you're going to end up with uh, something that you regret. So let's open it up. Let's see what we got in the box. HP's always good with this stuff, consistent. Okay, right on top we have. The start sheet here in a couple different languages, Spanish, English, Spanish, and, and, and French. So uh, it's telling us to take the package, packaging materials, connect the power cord, set the language, install the ink cartridges. Put on the, the catch tray and install the uh, media tray and um, follow the instructions on the screen on how to calibrate everything and then um, install the software. Install the software first. Do not, do not connect the USB cable until prompt. That's important. Okay, and then we have a nice printed manual. It's again. It's in three languages, and each language is indicated by a black strip here. This is nice because we've been getting too many printers lately where not only are there no unpacking instructions printed, but there's no printed manual. Everything is on CD-ROM, so you're like flying blind when you, when you open up the package. And, and this is uh, telling you the ink may be harmful if you swallow it. A straight fax phone line. Nothing special. Included USB cable, which is something that we've also, uh, a lot of people don't do. Now this may only be for setup. We'll find out when we do part two of the video. we got some multi-language stickers here to put on your machine if, you, if it's not an English version if, it's, if you're not if you're not installing it in the uh, United States or an English speaking country CD-ROM power cord uh, looks like uh, I don't see a brick in here let's hope that it's built in that would be great we have Four, five, sixty-four ink cartridges are called setup cartridges, which means that they have a lower capacity than than the um, ones that you'll replace it with. But there's four individual cartridges. Okay, and HP always 
gives you a handle on the bag so you can pull it out. Pull it out of the box. Easy. Hardly any extra packaging, just these two pieces of foam. And it's tiny. It's really small for an inkjet machine. It's actually kind of kind of cute. And in the bottom of the bag there's the output tray so it's uh it's light small so let's start removing the packing tape etc okay now the uh unpacking instructions let's see uh, remove the tape and packaging this is supposed to be taped up here and it didn't survive. You can see the tape is it's holding it down is here. So basically just is remove the tape in the packaging and it's all blue tape. So it shouldn't be any problem finding what they're talking about. So here's the tape for For this output tray, put that on. This piece is holding the document feeder down, and underneath it, there's clear holding up the uh, clear protecting the little bit of glossy stuff that's on there. Another piece in the back here. Piece on the side. Piece in the back of another piece of protective plastic and it's glossy in this here. And that while we're back here, we have there is no brick so the power cord plugs in right there. Here's your USB port and here's your fax line in and extension telephone jacks. There is light. So underneath the document feeder, I have this piece of foam. And we have this covering the control panel. Actually, they need a nice little touch buttons, they're not hard keys. Actually, pretty nice. In the photograph on the box, they look like hard keys. Okay, there's two little grooves you can get your hands under. And then inside here, a big piece of plastic. This piece of tape holding the ink carriage. It'll slide flying around. And there's a white gazenta attached to this tape. This looks all new in here. 
this used to pop off the back. This is really nice. No more having to go turn a printer around to get to the turnaround unit. They have a, a cover in here and it just drops. I mean, that's really nice. So all your, any misfeeds are gonna be done from the top and the back. No more having to go top and the front. No more having to go in the back. So that's really nice and it looks like it might be hard to put in, but basically you just drop it in there. And, it's like a no-brainer, but they did a nice job with that. Okay, so we got rid of the packing. And also up here for the document feeder, getting this feeds out. Uh, there's original orientation face up. Nice label there. So uh, now it's saying connect the power cord, and we have. No brick, which is also outstanding for a machine in this price range. I don't know how they found any room inside this case for no brick, but they did. It's compact. Compact design is pretty uh, amazing. So I'll plug in the power cord back here. Um, And then it says turn it on. And you can see the monochrome graphic display. It's going to ask us to set the location and then it wants us to put the ink in and install the paper tray and the um, media and follow the instructions. Okay, so there's no navigation keys, you have your, it's like an ATM, you um, press next to. USA? Yes. Okay to begin setting up your printer. Install cartridges. <clears throat> so it's nice, it's walking us through cartridge installation. Okay, let's uh, no print heads to be installed. The uh, it shows you where color coded. <clears throat> so let's give you a strip to pull to get the plastic off. Let me crack this plug off of here. There's the chip. <coughs> Alright, it's slip in and press down till it clicks. Easy. Yellow next. Rip off the strip. Pop off the clip. And this is the to be locked down when you put it in. See it's sticking up there. You gotta click. And to release it later you push that. Okay, let's do um, cyan. There's a little card you can keep to remind you what ink you need to buy. Alright, I don't 
think there's anybody's going to have any trouble with that. That was really easy. So let's close this. Selling, I said, genuine HP cartridges are installed. It's going through the procedure. Instructions say the next thing we should do is install the paper tray and some media. So let's do that. There's the paper tray. And basically, you just push it until it clicks. Add media, you just lift it up. Get some media in there. We always make sure that we use the color lock media and a good paper like this hammer mill for our testing. This is important for an ink chip. Put some media in there, looks like it holds about a hundred sheets. There is a you can take this right out if you have to. There's two guides here. It tells you which way the envelopes go in and which way the media goes in. Slip some media in there. And it goes, well, it's nice, it goes way in. It's not sticking out at all. There's little, little guides here to show you how much paper they stick out so it's got to be under the guides. I don't know if you can see it over here. Got to be under the guides. And a little one right there. And then just pop that in. Pull it out for your, your output tray. And for, for legal size flip this up and legal size media will be hanging out out here somewhere. So it should be making a test print soon. Wireless indicator is blinking here. Uh, this is not sure what that indicator means right there. Probably on hook dialing or something. It looks like here's your setup and here's your help. Nice, uh, nice control panel. It's just no hard keys except for the power button. You know, it's an eight inch plot. A4 is as big as it gets, which is 11.7 inches. All right, now it's telling us again that cartridges are installed. Okay, now it's initializing. Load paper into the output tray. We already did into the input tray and then press okay. to start printing out the test page. It's really uh, remarkably short, very compact compared to what we're used to seeing from the printers. Here comes the first print. talking about something that we need to do to align the scanner. Just printing out the instructions here. This is, uh, you must scan this alignment page for best print quality. So this should be out all the time.
not just for legal. It, it got stuck on this little lip here as it came out, so that's got to be open like that. Now, down here it says you must scan this page for best quality. Lift the lid, place this face down on the right front corner of the glass. It shows you the orientation, and then step two, press OK. And it's also telling us up here, place alignment page face down on the scanner glass. So the little picture shows us that it needs to go on. this way and there are your alignment corner is over here there's an indicator that goes in, your paper goes into that corner a lot of machines it goes up into this corner especially lasers but you're you shove it into this corner over here to show that it's laying flat gently close the cover so you don't disturb the disturb it and then okay now it's scanning the alignment page. The alignment has been completed. OK. Insert the HP software CD and follow the instructions on your computer. Follow the instructions on your computer screen. OK. But that's that's it so one couple of things before we sign off on this video is we no longer have to get to have access to the back we don't want this hanging off the front of your desk because somebody's going to walk by and knock it this has to be open like this so you're going to want to place it on the desk so that back about that far so it's you know, it requires about 24 inches of depth on the desktop. Um, so it's remarkably compact. The only thing we've seen smaller than this is a laser that didn't have this sticking out of the front. So other than that, it's pretty impressive. Copy features. Okay, this button is for the web services for um, ePrint. And you could send an email to this uh, through HP's ePrint service, and with, it'll print the attachment automatically. So that's what that button is. Now let's let's do the printer can autom and automatically check for an update. Okay. Printer must be connected to the wireless network in order to check for an, and the internet in order to check for an update. So let's do this. It's not connected. The wireless settings. Okay. Wireless on off. It's on. Okay. Wi-Fi protected setup. Restore defaults. We don't have Wi-Fi protected setups. There are two ways to set up Wi-Fi protected setup. Press the question mark for help. Okay, so it has WPS push button, which we don't have, or pin. So pin. No, I don't need any of that. <coughs> Oops. Wireless settings. Wireless on, Wi-Fi protected setup, restore data. Okay. Push button, okay. No, we don't have a push button either. No, the pin.
push button or pin. So we don't have either. So I don't know really what to do here. I don't want either one of these. Wireless settings. Wireless on. Restore defaults. Wi-Fi protected. So wireless is on. I just haven't figured out how to. We don't have Wi-Fi protected setup. Usually, there's a way to manually look for a access point. Basically, that's to use the automatic setup. So we'll go into settings. <clears throat> Network. Wireless menu. Here's what we want. Not connected, we know that. Wireless settings, okay. No, no, we're back to the same. Defaults, no. Okay, so I'll test the facts. So I don't want to. Play. All right, so basically I can't set up the Wi-Fi from the control panel, which is usually easy to do on these. So we're going to have to see what happens during the installation process. Okay. Other than that, it is really easy to set up. And thanks, thank you for watching. Nice little.